Ta 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 ta. Hello, class five. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So this crazy time is going on, and we go on with our lessons for reading, speaking, and writing. Of course, today this lesson is about. Listening comprehension and some writing too. It is, as you can see, a listening exercise from a mover's test. It's part three. It's like this. There are six pictures and the days of the week. Do you remember this exercise? You have to understand when uh, a person in this case is Tom, did these activities. So uh, this is the example. As you see, there's the day Wednesday, and we can move it here. We have to listen to a CD. But before we start, let's see uh, all these six pictures one by one, and let's, let's discuss together about what Tom did um, every day. Um, well, maybe you have noticed there are six pictures, but seven days, so one day is out. You have to understand. Okay, let's see the pictures one by one, starting from this one. Okay, uh, here there's Tom, it's the boy with the fair hair, and there's something next to him. Where are they? They are in the cinema, at the cinema. Okay, they are watching a film. Okay, but I want you to uh, describe what Tom did in the past. So you have to use the verb in the past. I wrote here the verb that you could use. There is watch. It's a regular verb. In the past we say watched. And then there is go. Go is irregular. I wrote it red. And the form of the past is went. So Tom went to the cinema. Uh, in this picture, you can see Tom. He went to the cinema with the somebody, a friend, or maybe his bigger, maybe his dad or uncle. I don't know. We have to listen to the, the CD. Okay. Then the next picture here, there is Tom and probably uh, it's his family, his mom and dad. Where are they? They are at the zoo. They are looking at some animals. The mom is pointing. Yeah, they here they can see some lions. OK, now let's see this um, activity in the past. So Tom, you see, B was were was at the zoo with his family, or they went go went. Oh, I should write it here, but it, I wrote it in the la, uh, in the previous picture anyway. Go went. Okay, and they saw animals, uh, or they saw the lions. Let's see it in the next picture. Here it's maybe Tom's family. So Tom with uh, mom, dad, and the sister. He's got something. So the activity is fishing. Fish is also a verb, and the verb is regular. So he fished. Or, or you can say Tom went to uh, the river and fished with his family, probably. Okay, next picture. Here we see two people, Tom and the girl, maybe his sister. They are playing, but we have to say it in the past. Play is regular. So Tom played tennis with his sister. And here we have all irregular verbs. Do. Uh, Tom is doing his homework. Tom did his homework. Tom is writing. Tom wrote on the book. 
Well, maybe Tom is uh, thinking, and the past of think is thought. So Tom thought about something. And this is the last one. Here there are two children, Tom and maybe a friend. Maybe Tom's friend, Tom's brother, Tom's cousin, I don't know. Where are they? They are on the beach. They are walking and talking. See, the friend is talking next to the sea. So, in the past, you could say that uh, Tom went to the sea with a friend. They walked and talked. These two verbs are regular. I think the pictures are finished, yes. So we can go back to the exercise. We are ready to listen. So uh, now, after each sentence, you please stop and write down, okay? You write on Wednesday. Oh, I'll show you an example. So let me find the recording. It's here. Part three. Look at the pictures. Listen, this is an example. What did Tom do last week? Where were you on Wednesday, Tom? I was by the river with my family. Did you go fishing? Yes, I love fishing. I caught three fish. Okay, let's let's uh, see an example I've got here for you. Yeah. Oh. On Wednesday, Tom went fishing with his family. Um, you could also write that he caught some fish if you want. I don't remember how many fish he caught. I should go back with the uh, with the recording. Well, I could do it. Why not? So. Let's listen again. The river was my family. Did you go fishing? Yes, I love fishing. I caught three fish. Hmm, okay. He caught three fish. So we can make revision of the verb catch in the passage. Caught. So we can write as many things as we can. So three fish. Remember, fish is irregular. There is no Move up. You say one fish or three fish. So this is the exercise. You have to understand when. So the day on on Wednesday. Then where was uh, Tom? Tom. Oh, by the river. <laughs> Went uh, fishing by the river with his family, okay? Fishing by the river with his family. So, where? By the river. And what did he do? He went fishing and he caught three fish. So this is one example. Now you listen to the next sentences and you do the rest. I will go back to the page. Uh, yeah. So as you see, this was Wednesday and we can put it here. Okay, let's go on with the listening. Can you see the word Wednesday? Yeah, this is it. On Wednesday, Tom went fishing. Now listen and write the days. One. What did you do on Monday? Monday? I think I was at home. Did you watch TV? There was a soccer game on. No, I had to do my homework. Was it difficult? Yes, it was. Two. Did you go to the cinema last weekend, Tom? Yes, I went to the cinema with my dad. Did you go on Saturday or on Sunday? I think it was on Sunday. Yes, we went to the cinema after Sunday lunch. Three. What did you do on Friday? I went to the beach in the afternoon. With your mum and dad? No, I went with my friend. Did you swim? 
No, we went walking on the beach. Four. What about Tuesday? Were you at home? No, I went to the park with my sister. Did you play basketball? No, we played tennis. I can't play basketball. Is tennis your favourite game? Yes, my sister loves it too. Five. And what about Saturday? What did you do then? I don't know. Oh yes, I went to the zoo. With your friends? No, with my mum and dad. We saw a lot of animals. What's your favourite animal? The lion. It's beautiful. Okay, that was it. So the exercise is finished. You have to listen again and stop after each sentence, okay? Sentence one, blah, 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 stop. And you write, on Monday, Tom uh, went to blah, blah, blah. Uh, he did the blur, okay, for the five sentences which are left. This uh, was the example as I showed you uh, here. Yeah. On Wednesday, Tom went by the river. He went fishing with his family. He caught three fish. Try to add some information. Use the past tense. Okay, yeah, so that was the uh, end of the lesson. I hope uh, you understood well. If you don't understand, try to listen again because I am using words, you know, and you can understand. Okay, I hope so. Bye bye. <laughs>